My name is Ayana Askew and I am a 16 year old sophomore at Booker T. Washington High School and I also attend the Governor's School for the Arts in Norfolk, Virginia and today I will be representing the Norfolk NAACP Adult Branch and I will be performing an original poem entitled, Is Justice Blind? The word black associated with a negative connotation, the skin color involved with mass incarceration. Black is a stereotype that people can't get around, assuming we're a threat, hands up, don't make a sound. From Ahmaud Arbery to Philandro Castile, innocent black men who were both shot and killed. George Floyd and Eric Gardner both said, I can't breathe, choked to death, leaving their families to grieve. Amadou Diallo and Walter Scott, who were both victims of being hunted down and shot. Mike Brown and Freddie Gray, lifeless bodies in a casket put on display. They didn't think their life would end in that way, hunted down by a predator who searches for and kills their prey. But Lord, I pray that their lives are worth more in heaven than they were down here. From my mouth to God's ear, no more tears. One bullet after another piercing their skin. Time after time, this is sadly how it ends. Fatherless children, heart-wrenching mothers, sisters who lost their younger or older brothers, families being broken apart, the list of those shot and killed. Again, where do I even start? 12-year-old Tamir Rice, who was just trying to have some fun, was shot and killed because they thought it was a real gun. Trayvon Martin was only 17, with a life ahead of him that he could not live to see. He had a future with aspirations and things that he wanted to be. Little boys dying, mothers crying, our community at a detriment more, and our hearts are constantly being broken and torn. Life isn't fair, nor is it just, but it gets to the point where enough is enough. If we remain seated, a chain of unexplained killings will form to our people. This will become our new norm. Another black man shot and killed who allegedly posed a threat for being black. They say, that's what you get. They say, I feared for my life as an excuse. They shoot and kill their power abused. Another murder, although we did what we were told, another investigation of a killing unfolds. Black lives are worthless, they say. Shooting and killing our race and always getting away. The worth of our black lives are on a linear decline. I constantly ask myself, is justice blind? Son, when pulled over, keep your hands on the wheel. Don't move a muscle, please remain still. Don't reach in your pocket and don't say a word because if you do, gunshots might be heard. Just do what they tell you and you'll be just fine. Wait, no son, that last line, I was lying. There is no guarantee. You can do everything you're supposed to, but that's not what the officer sees. He sees a comb in your pocket and calls that a gun. You aren't even protected when going out for a run. I'm calling everyone to action to stand up for one another, to save the precious lives of our black, strong and intelligent brothers. It's been a long and treacherous road, but we must keep moving and pushing forward until peace, justice and equality really do unfold. 